What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today I'm going to be doing a walk around. This isn't going to be a crazy in-depth tour, but I wanted to walk around this Taximantis. I have not done a lot of videos on these in the past. We have a sales coach. His name is Josh and he's kind of our Mantis guru and he knows everything about him. Also Nate, really good. So if you want to reach out to us and get some specifics. Also, if you want to see the specs on this unit, go to our website, ROAoffroad.com. But I wanted to do a quick walk around. This is a brand new 2023. This is the 5.2 Taxa Mantis. And this is the Overland Edition, which means they've put a different suspension on this, an independent suspension. So you have a little bit more clearance and a little bit more off-road capability. But I wanna go through, like I said, not crazy in depth, but I just wanna talk about some of our experience with Taxa Outdoors, the manufacturer, because we've now officially been their dealer for just over three years. And we really, really like them overall. And I just wanna get into some of those details. By the way, this Mantis is available for sale at ROA Off-Road and we have chosen this unique wrap. And that's one of the cool things about these is you can choose your wraps and kind of make it more unique in your own design. The overall length is 19 feet. The overall width is seven feet six inches, so it tracks a regular tow vehicle very well, and this is good when you're on a forest road because you want something that's tracking your vehicle. You don't want something that's eight feet or eight and a half feet like you get in the standard RV industry. The ground clearance, you're gonna be around 14 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty good for a trailer. And with the top closed down, you're seven feet. So if you have an eight foot garage, this will fit in it just fine. Now there are some options on your cargo rack up here. You can add it some cargo box, some storage containers. You can also add a rooftop tent and it doesn't matter which one you add. The one that Taxa uses is a Tapui and it's a three person tent. It's a queen size bed. So you can squeeze three kids up there or comfortably sleep two adults. Obviously, if you put that on top of the bars, you might go above that eight feet. So you just wanna be aware of that before you order it with that if you're trying to squeeze it into a eight foot garage. But without anything on it, you're easily seven feet and inside an eight foot garage. Some of the unique features about this trailer is the way it comes standard is 3,115 pounds. So it's extremely light and you can tow it with a lot of tow vehicles. Mid-sized trucks, no problem. Maybe a heavier duty a Subaru, we've towed it with Subarus. We've towed this thing thousands of miles, not this specific unit, but the Mantises in general. We've camped up in altitudes of 10,000 feet in Colorado. We're right now sitting at 8,000 feet. We've been in it at our Romer rally for an entire week running the air conditioner. Runs fine off of a 2,000 watt Honda generator, which is also very unique. Most air conditioning units require a much larger generator. So there's a lot of cool features about this. Stock right out of the box, the way you get it, you can comfortably sleep four adults. So a family of four is going to easily fit in this. They have some options where you can have a hammock down the center of the inside of the trailer and add a fifth person in it. And then like I mentioned earlier, if you get the rooftop tent, you could potentially sleep a family of eight or easily seven adults in this little trailer that weighs just over 3,100 pounds. That's pretty cool. So walking around, I want to talk a little bit more about some of the features of it. In general, it's sitting on a Goodyear Wrangler tire and it's a 225.75 with a 16 inch rim. You have electric drum brakes. This wheel well right here is steel, which is very robust and strong. So if you ever had a blowout, you're not gonna blow out this entire plastic fender like you'll see on a lot of standard trailers. The walls are a composite aluminum material. It has a skeleton on the inside instead of the exterior, which is nice because a lot of times when you have an exterior skeleton, you get a lot of condensation. Of course, there is some of the skeleton on the outside, but most of it's inside and it's a steel skeleton with the aluminum composite panels on the outside and they are insulated as well. A lot of people wonder how well does it do in cold? How long, well does it do in heat? Obviously you have canvas, but the canvas holds the heat in or the cold pretty well. Like I said, we had it a week 
at 95 degrees at a rally. We ran the air conditioner all week and we had upwards of five or six adults in there because it was one of the nicest, most comfortable places to get away and out of the sun during the rally. We've also had it up in the mountains in 40 degree temperature, turning on the heater and with the canvas pop top up and it kept the trailer nice and warm. We actually had to turn it down because it got too hot in there. Obviously you could always pull the top down and it would heat even better if you were just sleeping four people and you didn't need that roof space. Lots of roof space, lots of head space. I'll show you when I go inside. But as you can see this door, massive hinges that hold this thing on and nice polycarbonate windows. These are all a dual pane window which I'm super familiar with. I've used these a lot. And when you shut it back, it locks in place and stays where you want it. One of the things that I love about Taxa in general is they do a lot of options. So you don't just have to get it one way and one way only. There's tons of different things you can add to or take away. And obviously that's gonna make it lighter or heavier. The way this one is optioned that we have right now here at ROA, it's about 3,500 pounds. But you can also add in a screen, have screens right here so you don't have bugs coming in, also in the back as well. And I'm gonna show you that back open up in a little bit because that's very, very cool. As you get inside, you can grab this as your handle and you can pull on it. You got little details of the Mantis right there, laser cut in the metal. And then right here you have little hook points so you can hang things right here. Very, very user-friendly trailer. One of the things that I mentioned about the manufacturer that we love is the lack of warranty. We just don't have a lot of warranty issues and that's what we love more than anything else. But the founder, he's a NASA engineer and he lived on the space station. So he's super, super good with design and just usability and the function. One of the things that a lot of people actually really love is the cabinets and how they've designed that in the sense that they're actually not cabinets. I'll show you inside in a little bit, but nothing to fail, no tracks, but also really easy to use and pack up. So let's keep walking on the outside before we go inside. Okay, right here we have a nice outside LED lighting. They've secured it right here with a strap and then also glued on. So you just have that double security opposed just to glue. Because we did have some of these issues in the past where the glue wasn't holding, but now they've actually secured it and glued it up. You have the 23-0 and you can option this unit where you can get two on each side and this thing will completely wrap around the entire trailer and you almost have 360 degrees of awning, not all the way around, but it is really cool. And then you can potentially get the walls if you wanted to add that on and enclose this into a massive a base camp area. You can tie it down and have just so much space for the family, which is really cool. You also have a lot of hooking points to hang up any things, right? If you're out in the wilderness, you wanna hang a bag of trash away from the campsite. Coming over here, we have two 20 pound propane tanks with an automatic propane transfer switch. And then we have our tongue jack. It does have an option where you can put a wheel on it. So if you did push it in your garage, it's super light. You can get it out of the way and you can kind of maneuver it. If you're on a nice flat surface, it's easy to do that. Right here with the Overland Edition, you have the lock and roll. And this is an articulating hitch that moves side to side, up and down. These hitches, super familiar with these hitches on a much larger trailer. I'm not a fan because they're a little difficult to hook up. On a trailer this size and this weight, they're really easy to hook up because you can get pretty close to it and then you're able to crank up and you can move the trailer over it and drop it down into the hitch and it's really easy. Like I said, in a big trailer, we've had these on big trailers and they can be a pain to hook up, not with a trailer of this size with the jockey wheel to be able to roll it into place. Over here, we have some of our ratings right here for cargo capacity. Standard with not a lot of stuff on it's 3,100 pounds. The way this one's sitting, we're about 34, 3,500 pounds. Your cargo capacity, your fully GVWR is just over 5,000 pounds. So you're gonna have a range anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 pounds, depending on how you option it to be able to run inside the trailer itself. You have about a 20 gallon fresh water tank and a 22 gallon gray tank. Obviously your tongue weight is just over 500 pounds. Very light tongue. Down here on each corner of the trailer, you have stabilizer jacks. So when you do get to camp and you get leveled, you can drop that down and it just creates a lot of stability and the trailer's not rocking around if it's windy. Over here, we have our drains. Right here, I wanna show off, we have the Truma 
It's a German company. They've been around since the 1940s, I believe. We've been to their facility out east and they're an impressive company. Like I said, the lack of warranty on taxa themselves is pretty phenomenal. And this is one of the reasons is because they put premium components in it. Right here, you have a little outside shower where you can connect and have hot and cold. And then obviously these are little vents for stuff inside. You have your shore power connection, which is a 30 amp. And of course your water inlet. And this is going to be a city water. So if you were at a campground and you wanted to hook up to pressurized water and have continuous water running, you could do that. Obviously, if you're going off grid, then you're gonna fill up right here. And this is a gravity fill where that goes into the tank and fills up your water. And then you engage the water pump on the inside to get your off grid water. Also, we have a solar port and this is a ZAMP solar port. So if you are off grid, you can be able to add solar and be able to have power for a long, long time. One of the unique things about Taxa and the options that they give you and working with us here at ROA Off-Road in either Utah or South Carolina is we add a lot of options as well. And we have the ability to upgrade to lithium, to give you different solar options. We also have the ability to add just different things to make your overall ownership and experience more enjoyable and more unique to what you have. The last thing I wanna mention on the driver's side here is this air conditioning unit. This thing is actually really, really cool. Believe it or not, it puts out a lot of cold air inside, but it's a standard window unit. This is a general electric standard AC unit. You can measure this AC unit and you can just slide it out and go get a new one at Walmart. If this ever failed on you, it's super easy just to replace this. Any person could replace this. Obviously you got a gasket right here and when you're in transit, you're gonna drop it down and just lock it in. Very efficient and we've run this on a Honda 2000 watt generator. Typically most standard roof mounted AC units are gonna require upwards of a 3000. A 2000 is not gonna cut it, especially at high elevation. Of course you have these steps that you can climb up to be able to get to the top and you have spots to hold on as well. Once again, these heavy duty hinges on everything with the polycarbonate windows. Down here we have a spare size tire and it is a full size tire. And then you have a lockable latch. This is one of the favorite features of most owners is you can open this up and you can sit in here and relax. And this is what you see. This is your main bed. This is a, a full size in width, but a queen size in length. So it's about 54 by 80 inches. So a tall person can easily sleep on this. And there's really not a better view to wake up to than what you're seeing right here. One of the cool things about this back area is obviously it's in the bed position, but it's super modular. You can turn it into the table where you're gonna all be hanging out and eating. If you're laying down at night and you're sleeping, you can grab this and you can pull the door down from laying down and be able to shut it. And it also locks from the inside. But during the day, if you wanna turn this into a table area, it's very easy. You just grab the cushions and this moves over here and becomes your backrest area while you're sitting. And then these guys go right here. Before I put those up, I wanna show you one of the unique things about this is Singh has a massive amount of storage all underneath here. You have just tons and tons of storage. All of these panels come up, lift up out of the way. And this guy right here, you can actually, that's where the table pole lives and then you just turn it upside down and you have tons and tons of space in here. So you put this back down and they do have little Velcro strips that hold them in place when you put them in. Once these go down and I mean like if you're really going on long road trips, you have just tons and tons of space to put things underneath this entire cabinet area. Obviously maybe your bigger bedding stuff, but we'll put this, this guy goes right here and it Velcro's in place. And then these cushions fit in perfectly right there that make a nice backrest. And then I'll show you the table. I'm gonna come around inside to show off the table because I can't reach it from here. And this comes out right there as well. Now coming inside here, you're gonna grab the table. And this table actually slides in right here. Has a locking mechanism too that you would push to disengage. 
And then this guy goes down right into the post. And that locks in just like that. If I were to put a little stool here, I could put somebody right at the end right here. Or you can sit right here. You also have the ability to put that other board back right here and have somebody sitting around. And this is a very nice size table and a lot of sitting space um, underneath. And this is one of the things that a lot of people sometimes at first think this is kind of strange, but once you actually do it a few times, you realize how cool these milk crates are. So when I first saw this, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And all the guys and all the owners that use this, they absolutely love it. They're bungees and milk crates that hold all your cabinets on. If you look all the way down here, you know, one of our main guys, our main specialist, Josh, he talks about how when he was up in Colorado camping, he got two of these crates and one of them he put all the toys, the girl toys in them, right? He has two girls, they put coloring books and toys in here. The other side, they put their snacks in. And he said when he got to camp, he just pulled the crates out and walked them out to the picnic table. He sat their toys and their snacks out there and they just ate their snacks and played their toys. When they were done, it was like, hey, put all your toys back in your crate and all your snacks in the crate. And then he just walked it inside Obviously, you can choose what you want to put in these crates, whether this is maybe your clothing area or your toys or whatever it is. And then you just bring it right back here and it locks nicely in. And it's super easy, right? Opposed to a drawer that you have to open up and you just grab a few things or you, you have a handful. What do you do? Oh, shoot. You go find some little bag or a crate, right? To throw your stuff in and take it outside with the crate feature in this you just have everything to easy to access also when you're packing say you're at home right you just grab these crates you walk them into your house you throw everything in them and you bring them out and you can also label these if you wanted to maybe if you kind of got your system down where you say hey this is kitchen this is dishware whatever you want to put in it you just have that really easy use of putting things in and then the other thing is when i talk about warranty what's going to fail like the handles of that lock the doors aren't gonna fail. The tracks themselves are not gonna fail. I mean, it's literally a bungee cord and a crate. And it is really, really, really functional. And I, and I think this is kind of where the NASA design comes in, where he really thought out, how do you use all the spaces where it's very usable and easy to pack stuff and unpack stuff and move around. Back behind here, there's some cubbies, little areas that where you can store stuff, you know, while you're laying in bed, you probably put your cell phone back here. There are a lot of places you can hook things as well. I love how the table rotates kind of out of the way. So it's easy for you to slide out if you got a bigger belly. And then this right here is the Iceco. This is a 45 liter refrigerator. You can also bring the temperature down to make it a freezer, dual purpose. What I really enjoy about these ice coats, and we've used these a lot, is you can grab the handles and you can pull it out and you can take it outside and set it out <laughs> by your camp. Or say you don't use your RV all the time, right? Say you're having a barbecue or a party with your friends, you can turn this thing on the day before and get it down to 34 degrees, throw in your drinks, your sodas, your water, and this becomes like a very usable feature for your home, for camping trips. Sometimes we wanna just go out for a picnic, an off-roading adventure, but not necessarily take the trailer, just say it's a day trip where we're wanting to picnic. You're going out and buying ice all the time and throwing in a cooler. This has an option where you can use a 12 volt cigarette lighter, where you can plug it into your truck or you can plug it into a regular outlet. So, you know, when it's on your patio in your house, you just plug it in your outlet outside. When it's in your truck, you can put this in the back seat of your truck or your SUV, or you can put it in the bed of your truck and you can plug this thing in and it works as a refrigerator or freezer for any adventure. It doesn't just have to be for the trailer. And it's kind of cool. It opens up both sides, kind of silly feature, but it works as a fridge or freezer. And then it has strapping points where when you're in transit, you're able to strap it down and it will stay secured. Coming over here, oh my goodness, how often are you out camping and you have no trash can? This is a massive trash can. This is a 16 gallon trash can right here. So you have 
all the things you need just behind the trash can. You also have the plug for the refrigerator, the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And you also have a cigarette lighter plug right on the outside of the trailer with that thought in mind where you can take the fridge outside and have it next to the trailer when you're out cooking. So moving forward to the front of the trailer, you have all of these and look how long these are. These are very nice size bins. They just slide right in on their tracks. This is all metal too and riveted. So moving forward, you have your air conditioning unit and this is on a slide system that you just pull those pins out and then you just push it out when you're actually using it and you bring it in when you're not and locking it in place. Coming over to here, you can see lots of little storage places. And I love just how all of the wood, how you have places to maybe put little straps over and hold things down. You know, if you put a bin here, you could, you know, bungee over it. All the wood in here is a Baltic birch. So this wood is gonna be, compared to like a press board that you'll see in a standard trailer, it's gonna be five to six times more expensive. It's very strong, it's very durable. And it's just, it's made to last a lot longer. Over here, you have little cubbies to be able to store more goods in here. And then of course you can put some long stuff in here and be able to bungee it in. And you can kind of see how they're showcasing how you can utilize all of these spaces and being able to strap things down throughout the whole entire trailer. Right here, we have a Dometic two burner stovetop. And I love the actual grate on this. Some of them are little metal chintzy ones and the pans fall over the place. The way they've designed this, it's really easy to put your stuff on it and not have it falling all over the place. And then you have a little electric igniter that you press right there when you light it. That comes back down. You also have your inside sink and this is going to be your hot and cold water system which is going to be operated off of your truma system your truma system down here this is going to operate your furnace which you have your three ports right there and like i mentioned 40 degree temperatures with the roof up and it heats the trailer very, very well. You have a battery disconnect and a battery monitor right there so you can monitor your voltage. Over here, we have access to all of our fuse panels and our breakers. Moving forward, we have an outlet. This is 120, that's gonna work off of a generator. Of course, you have little cigarette lighters and you see these inside, outside by the fridge. You can use that for the fridge, but you could also put in a little inverter. You go by to Walmart and you can plug in an inverter and be able to charge like a laptop or something. And then you have some USB plugs for cell phones and another large storage space right here that comes out. And this kind of comes with a lot of the things you need like your shower wand, and your 30 amp plug, you have a hose. So some of the goods that you need when you buy the trailer come hanging out in there and then you just lock it up. All these fuses are super easy to access. You just turn them, you pop them out like that and you can see if that's blown, you just put a new fuse in it and then those, those just pop right back in. One of the things that I really like that they've done on this is all of this aluminum laser cut symbols that they have. Most of the time you won't even know what the switch is and if you're lucky they've maybe labeled the switches but what they've done is they send this through a machine and just cut out all the emblems right so this is a little picture of a spigot with a water drop so that's going to turn on your water pump right here you have a picture of a little light radiating down below a stove or a pan i should say that's a pot so that turns on your kitchen area right over your stove over here this is a picture of the ceiling right there and a light and that's shining down over the bed area. Same thing when you work your way over here. Also, oh, look at the fuses. This is really cool because you wonder, hey, what if your stove stops working? Well, there's a picture of a pot and that's a fuse. So that's going to be your fuse for your stove. And there's a little radiant furnace looking thing. So that's gonna be your Truma furnace. And the same thing, this whole theory goes all the way throughout. Um, you have this one, see it has a little picture of your house, but it has a light and it's on the outside of the house, which is your outside light, right? When you walk in, this is a picture of a little seat and that's actually the light for the, the main couch area. And then this is your main light for your entire roof and everywhere. So, and then this is your little reading light. And then you have lots of little spaces to be able to put those bungees and strap things in here. So you don't have things rolling all over the place as well. And then once again, another 12 volt cigarette lighter for inverters or other things. And then you have your cell phone charging uh, USB ports 
right there. And these are wired directly to the battery, so you always have power for those if the battery disconnect is turned on. On this side, you have three more crates that go all the way down. And just to show you that off one more time, they are super deep crates. So you can put a lot of storage in here. Now I wanna move forward towards your couch. It's kind of a flex space. You have a office slash bunk beds, some more storage area, and also your bathroom up right here. Moving forward into the bathroom area, obviously this unit's brand new. So we have not opened up the toilet yet. If we were to have opened the toilet, this toilet actually goes into this little box. And I'll show you how that works in one second. First, I wanna show you Everything kind of is strapped together and put up. There's two straps on each side of this. Right here, you can uh, you grab that Velcro strap. And once you pull that out, this whole thing slides on out. And it's actually Velcroed on both sides. I already pulled that one out. But what's really nice is if you wanted to, you could sit right here and you could kind of hang out and use this as a prep space. You could also turn around and this is a lagoon table and this actually adjusts up and down, moves in lots of different directions, goes out of the way. Also, you could slide this away. And like I mentioned earlier at the main table, there's a spot where you could put a stool. You actually would use this system right here. But before I show you the bathroom, this bed area latches down goes up like this. There's these little latches. Obviously the bedding, I take the bedding off first, but this comes down and then this turns into a nice couch area. Move the bedding out of the way, but this becomes your main lounge where you can kind of sit back, relax, enjoy. Nighttime, you can turn on a little light right there and have a reading light. This also, if you're trying to work remote, and you need a desk space, you're gonna come right here and be able to throw your laptop down, you know, have some books and miscellaneous gear right here and just be able to really utilize this space nicely. If it's just the two of you and you're, say you're a couple, you can leave your main bed in the back, always set down. If you wanna put a topper on that, like I said, it's about a queen length, full size width. You could put a topper down there and always leave that into a bed if it was just a couple, right? And then this becomes kind of your space where you can hang out and eat. You can move this around and somebody can sit there and the other person sit right here to eat and hang out and just enjoy each other's company. Now, I wanna show you kind of how these fold up and you have end up having a ton of storage space as well. Obviously, if the sun's hitting you, you can close your blinds and this will keep the sun out. Also at nighttime, it's a blackout shade or blind. And if you want to open the window and get a nice breeze, you can open these windows and get some nice breeze coming in. And there's a little locking mechanism right here that holds it open and you can open it at any position. Say you just want to have it just cracked barely. You can screw that and tighten it there. And then of course you don't want the bugs in. So you put up the screen. Now let's say you truly are just an adventure type of person and you don't wanna put your bikes on those load bars on the back because maybe you have a bunch of cargo space up there. So if you wanted to, you of course could lift up your main couch area. There's a little clip right here. This is gonna come up right here and you're gonna be able to lock that in and bring in bicycles and have just a lot of space to store things. Over here, you have some other little cubbies to be able to put things away, stakes and ropes for all your awnings. And then when you get to camp, you turn this back into the couch, you got kids, then you gotta flip this back up into the bunk area. Now, of course, if you got kids and you wanna put them on the bunk, just like my wife, we like to put our girl on the bunk, but we're also always worried that she might roll off. And this is designed to clip right here and right here. And then it also has clips that go down underneath and lock in. And then you have some sort of protection so the kids don't roll out at night, which is, you know, very thoughtful because this bed right here is pretty wide. This one's a lot more narrow, so there's not gonna be as much space for the kiddos. And then of course it will also dual as a little storage space to put some extra stuff.
everything on this unit is so functional. I, I love just the design of how it's very modular, right? This goes for this, that goes for that. And then say you did put this stuff up here and you're going to say, well, how am I going to store or secure my bikes? I mean, look around here. We have mounting points everywhere, all over this entire trailer. You come all the way around here. You just have so many points to, you know, put straps on, clip things to up along the door here. You have these handles, but you can also use them as mounting points. There there is so many different areas that you can strap things to, mount things to. If I wanted to push this up and put giant boxes here, I could of course strap them in around with that while I'm in transit. Now the toilet that I showed that was in the box, normally you would actually store it in here and that toilet fits just perfectly in here. And when you're not using it, you're gonna cover it and use it also as an extra seat, right? Very, very, very thoughtful in the design and you know, taking one thing and instead of only having it one, they make it two or three different items to use while you're out camping. I'm gonna now show off the shower and how that sets up. It's very easy. I have not camped in this trailer as much as some of our other guys, uh, Josh and Nate. They're more of our taxa experts and they absolutely love this trailer. And they're always like, Shane, you gotta go out and use this trailer. It's so, so cool. And so I've made a point to get out in it more and just want to kind of get my hands and use this stuff and just want to showcase how cool this trailer is. And we have had such a good relationship with this company. So this drops down and now you have a shower pan and I'm 250 pounds. I'm six feet tall and this feels very sturdy and stout for me. I don't even feel it bending. It's very strong. Another thing I want to mention is the ceilings in this trailer. When this is popped up, it's 5'11 at the lowest point, all the way to just under eight feet right here. I think it's seven foot 10 inches. So it's massive, lots of space. These things right here, these can be clipped out and you can roll this all the way up and have it completely zipped in. And now let me show you how this bathroom works. It's very easy and very cool. Of course, you have your little shower room, your canvas right here, it's rolled up. This is gonna come down and this little doorway right here is where your hot and cold shower will go into. So you'll just know that that's kind of where it's gonna go. And then you have these little clips right here. And then if you look on the shower pan, you can clip those on right there and that's just gonna pop in right there. And then same thing over here, you're gonna pop that one in right there. And you can see you have about a two, a three to two inch lip all the way around. So the water's gonna drain out of this. Once you clip that side in right there, then you'll bring this last side and that will clip in. So you're gonna have, you know, like the worst thing is showering and having your water leak out on the floor all the time. And then you're gonna pull this up. And this is the entry, the point of entry. So I'm going to step in onto the shower pan and I'm going to come all the way up here and you can just slide that in right there and then you Velcro it. And then same thing right here. And then you're going to close up your shower and then you have lots and lots of privacy and now I have the shower all set up as you can not see me and it's it's a pretty good size shower so the, my famous I do this famous thing called the soap test this is my cell phone pretend it's soap if you have some imagination I drop the soap while I'm in here showering I have really plenty of space to be able to bend down and be able to pick this up. And I got my soap coming over here, check this out. You grab this wand, you pull it out of this little pocket. You can Velcro it back down. You have an on and off switch so you can set the water to your temperature and you can turn it off. And then you can wind this up all the way and you have tons of Velcro points to hold this in place, working its way all the way down right here. And you can be able to shower. Obviously when I'm showering, I take it off and spray my body down really quick. Very comfortable. 
very easy to set up. Obviously, when you're not showering, you can take it down or you can leave it here. You can throw your toilet in here and be able to have private a private place to close this up and use your toilet or you can shower, put it away, whatever you want to do. Very versatile and it utilizes this space where you can have you know, your bicycles, your toys and not occupy it all with just a bathroom. There you have it. The all new 2023 Taximantis 5.2. So this is the fifth rendition of these units. They've been around a while. It's not a brand new company. They've been dialing in their quality and everything, the functionality of the trailer. The thing that I really like is it doesn't feel like there's any wasted space and the space changes depending on what you want it, right? You want a desk space, you want a eating space. You're eating and your workstation turns into your toilet and your shower. That's pretty cool how they've just been able to utilize, oh, and when it's in transit, it's your cargo, your bicycle storage area, right? So it just depends on like the person, yourself, how you're gonna utilize this product and how it will best fit for you. Really, really cool company. And they don't call them campers, they don't call them trailers, they call them habitats because they want you to feel like when you're in their camper that you're actually outdoors. Their kind of whole motto is taking the indoor outdoor and the outdoors indoor, right? So you have the comforts. You have all of the things you want in a camper, a bed, a toilet, a shower, but you also have, you have a heater, you have air conditioning. You get a lot of stuff packed in such a small, light off-road trailer and that's what makes taxes so so unique they have a cool design a wow factor about them right here with these 23 zero awnings you can get another one on the other side and just be able to open this up and make it into a base camp you can make it complex you can make it simple it really depends on the user and what they're trying to accomplish but there you have it this is the all-new tax outdoors like i said roa is a proud partner with tax outdoors for going on over three years now. And we've had very, very good experience with this company. They really love their products. They're enthusiasts and they really, really are trying to build a great, great product right here in the United States of America out of Houston, Texas. Thanks for watching. You got questions, reach out to us at 801-860-0035. You can email us at info at rvsofamerica.com or just go to our website, it's roaoffroad.com. Thank you for watching. And now we're gonna actually go do some off-road testing right now. We're gonna head up to some washboard, some ruts, and see how well this thing handles. So stay tuned for that.